Hello there, this is Wellington with PX5 and today I'm going to show you how to create a thread using PX5 RTOS. In this video, we'll quickly run through the pthread create API, a 90 seconds demo and I'll share some resources. If we take a closer look at the pthread create API, we'll see that only two elements are required from the application developer to create a thread the thread handle and an entry function. This is much simpler than most RTOS thread and task creation APIs, which requires much more parameters, which makes it more complex. And because PX5 RTOS has a native pthread implementation based on POSIX pthread standards, this will look very familiar to any developer creating embedded Linux applications. Creating a thread will require the familiar pthread header and then a pointer to the thread handle, then an optional pointer to any thread attributes or null if you don't need any, then uh, the thread entry function or the function which will be called when this thread executes, and optionally any arguments required by that function, no otherwise. Finally, we can check the return for error codes. And if we get PX5 success or zero, then we know the thread has been created successfully. Okay, so in this demo, we'll see how simple it is to create a thread using PX5 RTOS. Spoiler alert, it's very easy. Right now, main is running and creating variables, thread handles and the memory area. In line 16, we have the platform setup where hardware is initialized using vendor hardware abstraction layer. Now on line 18, we start PX5 RTOS by providing three things. First, a random number for pointer data verification. We explain what pointer data verification is in a different video. We also provide the memory area and the size of that memory area. When we run now, this will convert main into a thread that is running with the default priority of PX5 RTOS, in this case 16. And next, to create another thread or a child thread, all we need to provide is a handle to this thread and the entry point for that thread. Running that, here we can see that the child thread has been created, also with the default priority of 16, same as main. This is ready and waiting to run. Main is still running, and now it's on line 26, so it will increment uh, the counter variable. Done so, now the variable equals to one, and main will yield allowing the child thread to run. There you go, child is now running and it will increment its own counter. Okay, now one. And after doing that, child will yield back to main. Now main is running, it will increment the counter, now at two, yielding back to child. Child will now increment its counter, yielding back to main main increments its counter which now which is now at three and this cycle of incrementing and yielding one to another will continue forever so that's the demo we had for today if you want to get started or learn more make sure to check our website at px5rtos.com you can email or call us with questions request for information or a quote also at info at px5rtos.com Thank you for your interest.